right, so here we go. I'm sure you're here because you're like, you know what? I know I need to go to the next level in my look. I've got you. I remember the days that I walked around with my yoga pants on all day, or, you know, I would stick my feet in some flip flops, all these things, because of course, as a busy mom, you could kind of just get into the rhythm of what's easier. But I want to tell you how to get into the rhythm of I deserve to look good every day. I deserve to walk around my house. I don't get me work from home. I deserve to walk around my house and look like a snack. I deserve to look amazing. And I started shifting my perspective. Soon I'll have another teaching about how my husband and I both spiced it up in our look and how we dress up for each other every day. But for today, let's just get into how to level up our look, all right? So this season right now is summertime. It is the absolute best time. Okay, are you taking notes? Now, let me tell you something. Let's treat all these YouTube videos as a masterclass to launch you, to rocket ship you, to, to blast off you to the next level. So I don't want you to just listen, but I want you to implement. So I want you to have your paper out. This is how I teach my students because we have to be fast action takers, all right? So one day I was just like, you know what? My next level was cool, but I could feel this shift in me. I can feel this shift in me of me wanting more out of life. Because remember this, write this down. You don't attract what you want, you attract who you are, okay? So if you feel like you're getting the same opportunities or you feel like maybe your friends are boring or maybe you want a little bit more spice in your marriage or maybe you want you know million dollar opportunities chasing you down, let me ask you a question. Do you have a million dollar look? Everybody, including hip hop people, they change their look. Why do so many women who are in the hip hop industry end up getting butt injections? You know, before we even knew what a BBL was, they were already doing it. Why? Because maybe their next level for them was, I need a bigger to go along with my next level. I can't say that I'm this, you know, this, this sought out rapper when the industry demands, okay? The industry demands women rappers to have the hourglass figure, to have the big bottoms, to dress in a certain way that gets them wanting to watch the videos. There's a lot of seduction in there. There's a lot of things in that culture that puts a lot of pressure on women to look a certain way. And you may say, well, I'm not in that industry. Industry, I just use that as an example to say that every industry that you see of people going to the next level, their look changes. My question for you is, if you want to go to the next level, why has your look been the same for the last five years? Uh huh. Why has your look been the same for the last year? Okay. When was the last time you woke up and you said, I deserve every time I walk around my house, my apartment, I don't care if you live in a, in a square hut, stop waiting on a birthday to look good. Stop waiting on you to go to brunch to look good. How about you look good for you? How about you wake up and say, I am about to look my best for me because I deserve to look my best. We wait until we have all of these occasions and then we say, oh, let me get my birthday outfit, girl. Let me go shopping. But how about we stay ready so we don't have to get ready, all right? So that is where I am, always leveling up, always going to the next level. There's a certain type of, there, there's, there for me, I started saying, you know what? I want a certain type of friend. I want to go to certain places. And those certain places have dress codes. The type of friends that I desire are, you know, I, I like girly girls. I like girls who like to dress up. And I do not apologize for that. You know, I'm an it girl, okay? I like that. But in order to attract that, you have to become that. So I don't want you to look at your circumstances. Let me tell you something very powerful. Poor people and unsuccessful people always think in, this is not the right time. This cannot be for me. I have kids running around. I, you know, I'm too tired. I'm too this. No, successful people and wealthy people and people with a rich mentality don't think in terms of, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough time. They think in the terms of, let me see how to get more time. 
Let me see how to get more resources. Let me see how to look my best. Let me, let me see. You see what I'm saying? Don't be the former always having an excuse. I'm too tired. Let me, there's nothing that will make you feel better. I promise you like getting up, even if your baby didn't sleep all night. Cause Every once in a while, our kids don't sleep all night, but it's something about me waking up and just putting that extra attention into myself. So a few things I have for you, all right? Let me show you now what to do to become your own mood board, to level up in your clothes and all those things. All right, ready for this? All right, right now, there's a perfect season right now. It's when designers are moving from the summer collection to the fall collection. And I know you may say right now we live in Texas and it's super hot. And I know you may be saying this is a weird season because it's still very, very hot outside. Yes, but designers have a certain time that they can keep their, their summer spring collection out before they move into the fall. Which is why if you go to the mall in the summer months, you start seeing Wait a minute, sweaters are out and coats are out and these things are out. Can I tell you something? This is the best time, write this down. This is the best time right now to go and shop. Everything is ridiculously marked down. I'm telling you, designer clothes, so many things. There are certain places that I don't shop and you know, this is just me. Some people go and they shop at certain places. Certain places are not for me. I like designer clothes. I like my fabric to be a certain way. I like to invest into my wardrobe. This is what I choose to do because the fabric feels better. It lasts longer. It feels more luxurious on my skin. You know, I have very sensitive skin, so I don't like that itchy fabric and none of that. So summer months. Okay. So I want you to start writing down the list of places where you dare not shop. Maybe you feel like the prices are ridiculous. It's not in my budget. If it's not a $10 shirt, I'm not going. You will be amazed. I can tell you all right now. I remember buying like an $800 dress for like $30. Okay. In this season, you hear what I'm saying? I'm trying to put you on. I don't want to give you all my secrets because then you all might start buying all my things up. Okay. So I kind of don't want to tell you, but I'm going to tell you because I love you. All right. Stop thinking like a poor person. Stop looking at things and saying, this is too much. I, I want the cheap things. Stop looking at things and saying they're too expensive, too expensive to, to, what are you what are you comparing that to? You know what's too expensive to me to buy a cheap shirt and how and have to replace it fifty times because it was so cheap and I could have just invested in a more high quality shirt that I didn't have to keep replacing over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. So another thing that I want you to do, so I want you to write down a list of a places that you wouldn't normally go. You know, maybe you say, you know, you I don't know where you shop, um, but I can tell you right now Nordstrom has some really good deals. Um, Neiman Marcus has some really good deals. There are some other boutiques that have some really good deals. Take advantage, okay? And even if you just buy one thing, that's how it started off. I remember I used to get a little shaky. I remember one time I bought a, a shirt. It was like $200. It was like the sweat started coming from my brow. And I'm like, I could have bought 10 shirts for this price and everything got all jittery. But then something happened. I put that shirt on. And I said, you know, my, my chest stuck out a little bit. And I said, hmm, I like the way this feels. And I started saying, you know what? This is not above me, okay? The next thing that I want you to do is, okay, so you wrote down your list of places. The next thing that I want you to do is I want you to write down how you want to be addressed. What does that mean? You'll often hear me say, dress how you want to be addressed. So you remember I just talked about how the rapping industry, they dress how they want to be addressed. They're very clear, okay? And there's no shade to them, but they are very clear about the demographic they want to attract, the audience that they want to attract. They are very clear. We are very clear about that. I'm very clear about what and who I want to attract. I'm very clear about that. My, my clothes reflect that. How I present myself attracts that. So I'm very clear about that. So here's how I started kind of refining my look. And I came up with three words that describes how I want to be addressed. So for example, one of those words is elegant. Okay. 
I when people see me, I want them. I want to radiate elegance. I mean, I want when people see me. It was so funny because Mother's Day, my husband took me out, and then we stopped by the mall to do a little shopping. And I had this cute little dress on, and this guy, he didn't think I heard him. Okay, he, he was with his friends, and he <laughs> it was so funny. I walked by, and this guy was like, "Whoa." Bro, she classy. Oh my gosh, I almost fell out. Because when I dress, the, this is how I want to be addressed. I want people to know I'm a very classy woman. I'm a very elegant woman. I'm a very refined woman. I want you to get three words that when people look at you, this is what they say about you, okay? If you want to be seen, let's say you want to be seen as a really creative person, okay? When people look at you, you want them to think you are the, you, you're the you're like a work of art, okay? Then I would recommend you going with more more colorful colors, bright colors, you know, different variations of prints, all types of things. That's not my vibe. I don't, when people see me, I don't want them to see me as creative. I want them to see me as elegant and refined and classic and simple. Not basic now. Okay, I'm simple, but I'm not basic, right? There's a difference. Coco Chanel says, simplicity is the keynote of all true elegance. So when, I, when people see me, they see a level of simplicity and elegance and refinement. So now it's time for you to do your homework and I want you to write down three words because you promised me, well, you didn't promise me, but I asked you to do your homework, okay? So I want you to write down three words that when people see you, this is how you want to be addressed. When people see you, and you ask 10 people about you, what would they say about you? Everybody pretty much has the same thing. That's how you know, okay? From those three words, then we can start building out your wardrobe, all right? So your first key is figure out three words. You can, you can do a few more if you want, but try to stick with three, okay? Try to stick with three words that screams you and then go and build your wardrobe. Okay, the last thing, when you are looking to do this fall shopping, uh, I mean, summer shopping before they move in all the fall things, here are three things that, actually four things that you can buy right now that it doesn't matter what season you're in. And I'm telling you, things that I have bought during this sale that I can wear all seasons long. Because remember, it's not a matter of, oh, they have to just get rid of the summer things because the fall is coming, because nobody can wear it in the fall. It's just that they have a new collection. So they need to keep it moving. They want something fresh. That's to our advantage, because now we get all these amazing clothes for a fraction. And I do mean a fraction of the cost. All right. So one thing that you can buy, these are four things that I want you to start thinking about investing in, in these sales. And again, it will always be around July um, and also November, December. Those two times, they usually have big sales. So my birthday is in January and I always love it because they, there's always this massive sale before all the spring things come in. And I feel like I get things for such a great price. OK. So the first thing is blazers. Everyone needs some blazers because, you know, you may say it's too hot to wear blazers, but let me tell you something. Not so. OK. Yesterday I had this cute uh, suit. It was a blazer and some shorts. Yes. A lot of times people think about blazers as just when it's cold outside. No, you can put on a blazer with a pair of shorts and super cute. And I had my heels on. So cute, girl. So cute. OK, next thing, pants. OK, I want you to invest in some real pants. All right. All right. All right. All right. You may say, well, I don't like jeans. Buttons hurt me. You know what? Buttons used to hurt me, too, when my pants were too little. And I'm not I'm, I'm telling off on myself. I'm not I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying that I had to go up a size and I started noticing, oh, this was unnecessary squoozing of the belly for no reason, all right? Unnecessary squoozing. So let's go up a size, but get you some pants. And it, it doesn't even have to be jeans. I've been investing in, in a lot of different pants, okay? Maybe I'll do this soon, but you would scream if you saw how much I just paid for these designer pants. I, and they are so, oh my gosh, you would scream. You would literally scream. But I want you to do your homework because I can tell you how much sales are right now, but I want you to do your homework, okay? 
Number three, shoes. Woo, let me tell you, you will also scream if I showed you some of my cute new shoes. Okay, some new heels I just got. They are so cute. And I think they were something like 70% off or something very, very wild like that. And there are shoes that I can wear all year round. So if you feel like, hey, maybe I could stand to have, you know, a, you know, a good pair of shoes or a different pair of shoes, maybe something a little bit out of your comfort zone, but that aligns with those three words, get them. And number four, shirts. Again, yes, they are selling. They are putting shirts on sale. And again, let's just say it's a sleeveless shirt. I wear many sleeveless shirts all year round and I could just pair it with a blazer, you could pair it with a sweater. So many different things. I'm telling you, your life is about to change. I feel like you're listening to this and you're like, you know what? I do deserve this. I can have a different look. I can take my look to the next level. I'm tired of being regular deck because you're not regular. All right. It's nothing about you that's regular. You're a daughter of the king. There's nothing about you that's regular. But think about this. When you're royalty, you have a royal dress code. All right. You people expect royal people to look royal. People expect royal people to have a certain demeanor about themselves that 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 lets people know, you know, I'm dignified and I'm different. OK, don't apologize for that at all. But it's time for you to own that. And one way you are about to go to your next level is you'll have a new look. Before we leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You know, don't just, you know how people do. They just come watch the YouTubes. They don't even give you a little subscribe. Look at that. I could have charged you. I didn't even charge you. The least you could do. No, but seriously, I would love for you to subscribe. And then there's a little share icon. Share it with someone that you may know. And let's keep growing, evolving, and all of that. I'm so excited to train you, to teach you, to empower you, to inspire you, wherever you fit in that little bubble. I'm just excited to be here and I'm excited you're here. All right, until next time, talk soon. Bye.